Bismillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Welcome everybody to Amazed by the Qur'an, a series in which I love sharing with you things I find amazing about the Qur'an Today I want to share with you something that's again very sentimental actually um, Again, small phrases in the Qur'an that just tell us absolutely incredible things Musa alayhi salam was, he, he comes back after meeting with Allah And when he comes back he notices that people are worshipping the golden calf and he gets angry at his brother. I left you in charge. What did you do? And they had overpowered him. They had, he doesn't have the strong personality that Musa a.s. has. So Musa a.s. grabs him by the beard and by his head. And he yanks at him. And he gets really, really, really upset. And he has to li literally call out as he's being grabbed and manhandled, Yabna Um, oh, son of my mother, come on. Just kind of calling on mom, because mom, soft corner, you know. It kind of chills him out a little bit, relaxes him. But of course, his brother knows, Harun knows السلام, that Musa is really, really upset. And right at the moment of being so, so angry at him, here are the next words. قَالَ رَبِّ اغْفِرْ لِي وَلِي أخي. Master, my master, forgive me and my brother. Now when he says those words, forgive me and my brother, who can hear him? Harun can hear him. Harun who was just grabbed, yelled at, got in so much trouble, my brother hates me right now, man. He's just, he's so he doesn't really want to see my face. You know, that's what you would feel like. And yet immediately he gives him relief by, by knowing that when he prays to Allah for forgiveness, he included his brother. رَبِّ اغْفِرْ لِي وَلِي But still, still, there's another way of saying it. You could just say, forgive us. But he separated me and my brother. So from a language perspective, there's still a gap. You still didn't put them in one word. Because if you put them in one word, it's like, kind of like a unity. And when you put them as two words, it's kind of still like a separation. Like, forgive me and also forgive my brother. He royally messed up. Kind of separating. I need forgiveness, but he really needs forgiveness. You know, it's like two different levels of forgiveness because they've been separated. But then what does he say in the very next words? So it's, he's still mad. He's still mad. So you can tell that he separated them, even though there's some relief in these words. The next words are وَأَدْخِلْنَا فِي رَحْمَتِكَ Enter both of us into your mercy and your love. <laughs> now when he says enter us, he doesn't say enter me and my brother. He just says enter us. So you could see Musa salam's anger coming down and his love for his brother returning and his brother can hear it in his prayer. He could hear that his, he's, been, he's okay with him now because he's ready to ask Allah the same way he would ask for himself, he's going to combine himself with Allah and even the pronoun. The fact that he prayed for him to begin with was already the beginning of mercy and love. So, you know, why is this important? Why is this important to mention? Because, you know, when you pray for those that, you, that have upset you, sometimes it's okay to pray for those that have upset you in front of them. Your child, pray, make dua for them in front of them. Make dua for your brother in front of him. Make dua for your sister, your spouse, in front of them. When they hear you praying for them, it removes some of the pain of the anger that was demonstrated. Yes, there was something that was worthy of being upset. Yes, there was. But it shouldn't create permanent scars in the relationship. It's too valuable. The love that you have for a loved one and the good that, that is in a relationship is far too valuable for that anger to be carried over. And what more beautiful a way to get rid of that anger but to have them here, you genuinely pray to Allah for them as you would pray for yourself. That's what's happened in this incredible, incredible dua. Barakallahu li wa lakum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. If you enjoyed this video, please do share it with friends and family. If you want to see more videos from this series, click on the box at the top. If you want to see other videos, click on the box at the bottom. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks.